Hey. Kiddo, are you doing all right? Me? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Doesn't seem like you're doing fine. Come on, bud, talk to me. You can talk to me about anything. I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear what I have to say, Freddy. Kid, if this is about leaving... All right, look, it's on me. I approached you about it, but... Have I not told you time and time again about why we haven't left? I can't just abandon my friends, kid. They need help. Just as much as you and I do. And I know we've been cooped up in here for a couple weeks. You especially, I know, has been cooped up in here for a couple weeks. You haven't even left the room. But I just want to let you know that I'm here for you, kid. Yeah. I wouldn't have picked you up from outside if I didn't think you were in danger. Trust me, as long as I can find an out to help my friends, we're out of here. And I'm sure that's gonna be soon. Just cut me a little more slack, all right? You got that, Superstar? Yeah, I, I got that, Freddy. All right, I'm sure Glitch Trap's doing his daily roll call, so I gotta be out there. Just keep yourself comfortable. If anybody shows up in my room, just hide in the box like we practiced. Okay, Freddy. Hmm. I'm not gonna be cooped up in here anymore. Freddy doesn't know this, but I had a security system installed on my watch for a while now. And with that, I'm gonna rendezvous an escape plan, with or without him. He has no idea how tired I am of being cooped up in here. Is he at? Whoa, what the? Is that what that glitch trap guy looks like? A bunch of random purple squares wasn't exactly what I expected. Just goes to show you how little Freddy lets me out of here, which is none, actually. Whatever, if I can use the approximate locations most of these places have, I can develop an escape route pretty easily. Just gonna take a couple more minutes to study him. Fazbear has been awfully absent the last few weeks. I can't imagine where he would be preoccupied with something. He has been cooped up in his room for an awful long amount of time now. I don't know what he could possibly be preoccupied with, considering the fact that, well... It's just us here. Maybe he started knitting. Might have picked up a new hobby. <sighs> Guys, I'm sure whatever Freddy's preoccupied with is important, and it's... productive. Right? It better be, because if I have to wait one more minute, I'm gonna rip his teeth out! That's reassuring. Hi. Oh, hello, Freddy! How's my favorite keeper of color? I'm your only keeper of color, sir. <laughs> Doesn't make you any less my favorite. Oh, boy. We're just doing a general daily staff meeting thing, you know? Of course, I come to these every day, I thought. Yeah, but it seems like you show up later and later every time. I don't know, I get lost along the way. It's a big facility. Dude, we've been here for like... a year, probably. Longer than that, honestly. Said exactly what I was thinking, Roxanne. You're not up to something, are you, Freddy? Where are all these blind accusations coming from? Can we just stop the meeting instead of just trying to accuse me for things I didn't even do? Hmm. All right. So, what do you want to call us here for, Glitchstrap? Well, I have a feeling some of you may know what I called you all here for. And what would that be? Oh, is Freddy the only one that doesn't know? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Maybe he'd know if he actually hung around us more. <laughs> While I don't have a fifth spot for my keepers, I have been meaning to introduce a new mercenary to our team. Wait, are, are you saying you found someone else? Yes, actually. The last addition to our crew before the big battle. Uh-oh. Introducing! Howdy, everyone. Great to be here, great to be here. Glamrock Bonnie. He was quite the hassle to drag down. By he, I mean someone fit for another role of our family. I'm sure he'll do nicely with you all. You all will get along very well. Ooh, hi! Another rabbit. This is shocking. Hey, Roxanne, what's wrong? Are you okay? It's nothing. Merit.
Typical, typical. I'd like to thank you for introducing me to your family. Uh, good shrimp, boss. You've honestly been a great help to me throughout all this time, you know? Set me up with a beautiful place like this, and a beautiful set of friends to meet. Someone who seems awfully too familiar. Then again, I've met a lot of people in my time. Hey, where'd you manage to find those glasses at? Oh, this is premium 1950s material. It keeps up my extra flair, you know? Spices up my appearance. And I got these for $10 at the party store. What's your excuse? You got a problem with it, Buster? Problem with it? Oh, ho, ho. maybe a little bit more on the problem with it. Uh, there's only one person big enough for two pairs of glasses in this town. Boys, boys, please, please. There's only so much room for the both of you. I get it, I get it, but let's just try and get along, please. It's all I can ask. Thanks, Big G. So, uh, boss, I have to ask, uh, out of the Rockstar Row, we kind of already have a lot of the spots taken up. Uh, who, where's Bonnie gonna stay? Oh, well, I figured it wouldn't be too much trouble if he stayed in your room. <clears throat> My room? Oh, sure. I figured since you spend so much time in there, it wouldn't be too much of a problem. I... Uh, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> all right. Well, I figured you all want to converse around here, but Freddy, just uh, move your stuff around. Clear some space just so Bond can set up his stuff. Uh, call him in there when you're ready, but don't take too long. Yeah, boss, that'll be just fine. I, I got it. I got it. Oh, no. Actually, you know what, Fred? I think you could use the extra handiwork. Why don't I lend you a pair? Let's go do this together. I'm sure it won't be that much stuff to move. No, I, I got it. I got it. I, trust me, I, I'm, I'm a solo person. I don't really work well in a co cooperative setting. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, though, Bon. I really do. But I, I, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta, I left the oven on. Hmm. What a shame. I wonder what's up with them. No, 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 what am I gonna do? They find out I got that kid. I'm toast. I'm done. A mystery. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Hey there. <gasps> Moondrop! What a pleasant surprise to see you. Where's your sunrise, fellow? Why don't you go, why don't you go run along with her? I'm sure you're fine. Funny. I haven't seen sunrise in a few days now. It seems like it's been longer than I think. No matter. I'm more interested in your predicament anyway. This about a kid I hear. Are you some kind of kitty napper? While I love making sure children get a correct sleep schedule, I'm not exactly sure that's what you're quite intending with that statement, Isaac Fazbear. So what's the shtick? <laughs> kid? Like a like a real kid? Oh ho ho, you must have misheard me. Uh, I was talking about like in the sense of like a like a childlike wonder, you know? Do tell. Well, you know, I just I got a lot of real childish stuff in my room, you know? Uh, video games, like uh, cartoons, all that mess. Uh, you know, I just I just wouldn't want to embarrass myself in front of our new friend and all. Real embarrassing stuff. Stuff I wouldn't want anybody seeing, you know. Not even a single soul. If they saw it, oh, I'd be a dead man. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, I do understand basic rights of privacy. All right, you're off the hook. <laughs> just let me know if you need anything. Night, night. Oh, yeah, I'll be in touch. Colors may be inverted, but it's the closest thing I could look into looking like my basic appearance. All right, Freddy. I'm sorry about this, but I'm ready to get out of here. <sighs> sorry. Gregory! Gregory, it's terrible! It's so terrible! Oh, God. They found a new guy. A new guy to join our family. And he wants them to stay in here, because there's no more rooms left. But if they see you, then I'm screwed. I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man, Gregory. And you're a dead man, and we're both dead people, and I don't want that to happen. Kid, I really need you with me here right now. If you got any bright ideas on how to fix this scenario, please, I need anything. I'm out of hope! That's not Gregory. Gregory! Gregory! I... Gregory! Gregory! God, did the kid run off? I... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Kid! Oh! Too far, right? I feel like I've been at this for a while now. It can't be too far, right? If my calculations are correct, I should be right above the exit. <laughs> Where did this come from? It wasn't on my cameras. It's a practically bottomless shaft. What do I do? I can't lift myself back up. Freddy! 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 
ate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chica, hon, you're right. Thanks. Oh, I know, I know, I know. It's it's that's a lot coming from me. Trust me, hon. You got you're you're funny. You got talent, you know. Really? besides my powers and, you know, eating things. It's fun, though! It's funny! I mean, come on. I'll tell you what, the practical jokes you told me earlier about those guys you missed time with, oh, that was a riot. Sad stories for the lot of them, but, oh, that's some funny stuff. Especially that fox. Ugh, can't imagine being that deep in my own problems. <laughs> and knock the dang glasses off my face. <laughs> hey, Freddy! Hey, are you okay? He looks stressed out. Uh... Yeah, I'm... I'm alright. Oh, uh, hey champ. You get your uh, room cleaned out yet? Oh, that, that, yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I've been so sweaty over. Right, as of late. You know, I've just been, uh, doing my thing, cleaning my room. I should be. Great, so uh, when do you think I can start moving my stuff in there? I've been waiting a while. Soon! Actually, now! It's practically finished anyway. I mean, it's not a couple things you gotta move, but other than that, yeah, you can, you can start putting your stuff in there. Great, why don't you come give me a hand? Uh, I, you see, I actually think that since I chose to move all my stuff out of the way, you should move all your stuff in, contextually. And that's fair, because you're good at it. I appreciate the compliment, I guess. But if you're busy with other stuff, I guess go ahead. Thanks. I'll be, I'll be back soon, I swear. And then I'll come help you just to get some of it started. That Fazbear guy, he's a little, uh... Suspicious to me. Oh, Freddy, he's always like that. Don't bother him too much. Yeah, but it kind of worries me. Does it not worry you? About what? Like, the fact that he's stressed? I mean, don't worry, get me wrong, it worries me all the time. No, about the fact that he's suspicious. Does it not worry you that it could be up to something... bad? For us, I mean? What? Freddy would never! He was the first member to join Glitch Trap. He's loyal to him to the end, I know it. Huh. Alright, if you say so. How about you actually do come give me a hand? It'd probably be take a minute to all my stuff in there. All right. Oh. Ow. Uh, nothing broken? I hope so. Uh, uh, my head. Ow. I should have listened to Freddy. I should have stayed cooped up in the room. This is a mistake. I can't even get signal on my fast watch. I'm doomed. Maybe someone will come and find me. I don't even know where I am. I'm sure wherever I am, at least I'm alone. <laughs> oh my god! Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. Hello, you kid! We'd love to know! I don't think I've ever seen you around here. I'm shocked Glitch Trap let you in here. I'm sure it was for a good reason. No way a little kid like him could get in by himself. Yeah! This kid's gotta be a mastermind! Maybe he's secretly a robot! I'm, I don't know! I'm just a kid! You caught the wrong guy. I'll be right out of your hair. Gregory, wasn't it? Dear child. It's interesting to see you've grown so much. What are you? What are you talking about? Oh, I know you've been here from the very start. The moment Freddy took you in, I have eyes all over this place. What? Then, then why? Why have I been allowed to live? <laughs> That's the funny thing about the hive mind, son. What are you talking about? I can never retain information and give it to Glitch Trap. Why do you think he keeps all these people down here? Instead of letting them roam free at the surface and cause chaos. Retained personalities. Merely thoughts fogged by one thing. Serve Glitch Trap and let nothing get in the way. That's the beauty of it. I haven't been able to stay hidden for so long. Exactly! And that's why I'll continue to stay hidden. Trust me, I would love to rip you apart, piece by piece, tearing out your organs and letting my army feast upon your flesh. But this is the only problem. I can't act out orders. If only the shop ran 
this situation is very difficult. Which Trump loves to merely entertain himself with our existence. Funny how that works. Oh, wonderful. Um, how do I get out of here? There should be a set of industrial doors behind you. Escape those and you'll be in the main lobby of the Trump's facility. Be warned, though. I'm not the only eyes I've been staring through. Or could that have been you with that little fast watch? Wait, are you saying the cameras aren't cameras? They're you? Now you're catching on. You're smarter than I first thought. Beautiful, truly beautiful. I had a feeling that was you. Exactly why I cut off my eyes to the shaft that you fell down here for. I just wanted to see how brilliant you were in person. Yeah, I appreciate the compliment. I'm gonna go now. Run away, child, while you have the chance. Never return, or you may not get to see the sun rise again. Okay. Find Freddy. I need to apologize to him. I've made a grave mistake. <gasps> what the hell? What was that? <gasps> what the hell is that thing? It's like a 20 foot tall spider. How am I going to get past it? Gregory! Hey! Keep it down, will ya? Jeez, uh, music man. Sorry, I didn't realize you were sleeping here. Yeah, I was. Listening to some nice, lovely white noise until you showed up and ruined it all. Jeez, sorry. I didn't see you. Ugh, whatever. By the way, did you hear anything I said when I walked in here? No, I just heard something. Woke me up. Why? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering. Okay. Well, please make your other friends aware that I'm sleeping here. I would not like to be awoken once again. All right. Hmm. I wonder what that crate's doing there. How does he not see me? Weird. Follow him. Freddy! Freddy! Oh boy, I'm running out of hope. Well, Freddy, do you know they call me the Hope Rabbit? They do? No. Good to know. Oh, what do you need a bright shine of hope in your life for? Oh, uh, I just realized I was shuffling around my room and then I found that I was missing something. You know, missing something from my room and I've just been looking all over for it. Oh wow, would you like some help? You know, Vanny, the best thing you can do for me is to go. Leave, leave me alone. Wow, I'm hurt, Freddy. I really thought we were forming a bond there. I, like, hardly talk to you, like, literally ever. Ugh. Fine, you'll turn around. Everybody loves me. Keep telling yourself that, Tuts. <laughs> hey! Wait a minute. I remember this crate. I saw it earlier in the room with Music Man. Oh, I know what's going on here. Someone in this crate is following me. 
What are you, a spy? What do you want, Gregory? I'll tell you what, I'll punch you so hard, I'll left hook you right so hard, you better come out of that crate like a second! Ready, it's me! Gregory! <gasps> oh, oh, oh my god, I was so worried about you. <sighs> and I'm also really infuriated with you! I mean, can you explain? What? You ran off? We were just talking about it this morning, about how you just really wanted to get out of here because you were so bored. Yeah, well guess what, that's mine and your lives, both! Both of us! This ain't just on you, pal! It's on me, because I feel responsible. Do not know what I've been through today. Now there's some guy moving into our room, and I have no idea where I'm going to keep you. What? Yeah, they want to put this schmuck Bonnie inside our room. And I don't know what to do, because I can't keep you in, like, the closet or something like that. Like, I, I can't let you live in a broom closet. You need a place to sleep. Like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm really running out of options here, Greg. Don't you see why I've been stressed? Look, I'm sorry, okay, but... I learned a lot while I was out there. I found a glitch trap. What'd you learn? Well... Hey! Who's talking down here? <gasps> oh, it's the new guy! Gregory, get up against the wall! Why? But... Ah! What happened to me? You have my color shifting powers to turn you into the color of the wall. So you're basically camouflaged. Just don't make any sound! Freddy. What are you doing in here? Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. I'm not doing anything. Oh, uh, well, you were certainly doing something. You were talking. Who were you talking to? Uh, no one. I highly doubt that. I definitely heard two voices coming through here. Unless you were talking to yourself, which in that case, kind of weird. But cut that out, because we're about to be roommates, and I cannot wake up at 2 in the morning hearing you babbling to yourself on your side of the room. Oh, trust me, trust me. I, I would never even think about it. Okay. You know, Fred, I just want to cover my bases here, because, you know, we're about to be roommates and all. We're about to get to go undergo a lot of bonding, you know? I just want to touch bases about something. Uh, sure, Bond. You can tell me anything. See, Freddy, I just... I don't know. Everyone says you're just stressed constantly, but something tells me this is awfully suspicious of you. Uh, yeah, um... Yeah. I I'm sure it is. Aren't you gonna scoot over? I know people like their personal bubble and all, but... I just learning to have a heart to heart, you know? No, I'm good. I'm perfectly comfortable where I am. You know, I've just been sitting here for a while, and I just... I really just wanted to just... Kick back. Okay, then I'll move. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good! Okay. <laughs> So what you don't talk about? I don't know, I just... Something up with you, dude? Like, you can tell me anything, Freddy. You know that. I'm a part of your little family now. You know, family's supposed to trust each other. And I just, you know, I'm just a little worried for you. Just like everybody is here. She could just... Went on and on. I was trying to clean my room with her, but I couldn't stand what she was just talking about. How just, you've been just acting so off lately. I just want to be sure you're okay, you know? I've done my fair share of dealing, and I've been in dark places too. So, you know, I just... Just, you know, I want to be sure you're going to be okay. I'm fine. Just got a lot on my belt right now. Mm. I feel you, man. Yeah, it's great. Are you okay? You're sweating. Is it hot in here? Do we turn on the AC or something? No, I just sweat easy. Freddy, I'm starting to think there's more going on here. What more going on? There wouldn't be anything else going on. Freddy. What? <gasps> I knew it. I could hear your little whimperings from for my right ear. Oh, what are you hiding here, Freddy? What's this? A kid? What's a kid doing in here? Is he a secret agent? Is he disguised as some kind of robot? Why does everyone keep saying that? I, I, I look, look, Bot, I, I, I can't explain. You're gonna tell me what's going on here right now, or else I'm gonna call Big G right in here. Right, 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 explain, please. Can we go somewhere a little more private? Fine. To our room. You take the kid with you. I get caught with him. Sorry, Freddy. You and me both. Oh, Bonnie, are you okay? Oh, yeah, we're doing great. Freddy here just found the thing he was looking for for his room. Go figure. Oh, wow. Uh, I guess you really didn't need my help. Yep, I did. Anyway, we'll be out of our hair. We're real tired after moving all this stuff around. You know, maybe we'd be less tired if he gave me some help, but eh, it's whatever. Well, well, whatever. It's in the past. We're gonna hit the hay. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right, spill the beans. What's up with the kid? All right, look, I'll be honest. I found him a couple weeks ago outside of the facility. And he was inside a box. And he was cold. He was scared. It was dark. And I thought I'd take him in. But I knew Glitch Trap wouldn't like that, so I've hid him from them all this time. Really? That's impressive. <sighs> Thanks. 
So what are you planning to do with them? I mean, you can't leave them in here forever. I've been planning on escaping. I just don't know when or how. Glitch Trap's on a path different than one I wanted. And while I appreciate everything he's done for me, I can't accept what he's probably going to do. Hmm. That's admirable. You think so? Of course. You're your own man. You're independent. You don't need him to tell you what to do. I get it. I too am like that. I've had previous run-ins when I was younger. A lot of people. A lot of talented people. Let's just say I played by my rules. Not all of them agree with them. Huh. Interesting. Tell you what. I like what you're doing here. What do you mean? Like this whole thing with the kid? How could that... How could that fly with you? You just got here today. There's no way you trust me that much. Uh, uh, uh. Here's my ultimatum. Option one. You remain here with the kid, and then I leave these doors, go and tell the big man himself about what you've been doing, what you've been planning, and that you plan to betray him. He comes here, kills you two on the spot, and then I get my rightful place here. Or option two. The nicer option. I give you all a couple weeks to leave this place. And I keep my mouth shut about this whole having a kid here without the boss's permission and planning to betray him thing. I keep my mouth zipped. You leave. And then Glitchtrap takes your keepers of color powers and all that and gives them to me. And you two get to live your happily ever after wherever the hell you manage to go. I'd say either way, I come out on top. That's just how I roll. So... Which option do you pick, Fazbear? I'm, uh, on a tight schedule. All right, option two. I mean, what do you think I am, crazy? Maybe a little bit, after the stunt you pulled. You know, you and I aren't so different. Just two men living their lives to the fullest by their own set of rules. I'll please Glitch Trap. Oh, I'll please him, all right. Well, I don't plan to take him over, that little second-in-command spot his, uh, other bunny friend has, he looks Mighty peachy. You know, in a way, Bonnie, you're sicker than him. <laughs> Don't make me change my mind. Let's get some sleep. We got a big day tomorrow. I almost forgot these. Tell your alligator friend, by the way, this is my style. I'm sorry, Freddy. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have waited this long. I should have known my friends were beyond saving. And now, I can't save them. I failed. C come on, Freddy, I'm, I'm sure there's another way. Like, it can't be all for lost, can it? I hope it isn't. You know, kid, I don't know where I'd be right now without you. You're kind of my light at the end of the tunnel. Something worth fighting for, I guess. Thanks, Freddy. You're welcome, kid. All right, now get sleep. You need it more than I do. Okay. What are you gonna do? Gonna make sure Bonnie doesn't pull anything funny. Okay. Night, Freddy. Night, Superstar. <laughs>